a robot that can understand and adapt to an ever-changing world. I'm giving a robot a brain to understand the environment, not just to take a picture of it, but to really interpret it. Scientists at Flinders University have reverse engineered the biology of insects to improve technology. Currently, robots can build a car, as long as every motion is repeated in a controlled environment. But biologically inspired robots are far more advanced. The brain that we put into these systems is really good at breaking different types of camouflage. It can pinpoint koalas hiding in treetops that are difficult to find with regular drones, find someone lurking in the shadows, or track an enemy drone in the sky from kilometres away. This would be incredibly important for defence and national security, being able to spot balloons that are hovering in places that they shouldn't be from even further distances. The battle space is, is a complex, a rapidly changing environment. Uh, we can't afford to have autonomous systems or robots. With robots gaining the ability to interpret their surroundings, ethical questions will arise around whether they should have rights and how they will be controlled. But experts believe there is nothing to fear. I don't see this sort of Terminator scenario emerging where suddenly we're being attacked by our own machines. But just as biology is used to advance technology, researchers say it may, one day, be able to work in the reverse, restoring sight to the blind. Now this is very science fiction, it doesn't exist just yet, and the interface between technology and biology is a frontier. A future that has to start somewhere. Megan Dillon, ABC News, Adelaide.